Good morning. <laughs> this is Jaron. Jaron is unlucky enough to live close enough to me <laughs> that uh, he gets to be the first one to experience the installation of the Permatrack. So we finally have the Permatrack. Here it is. It's a metal channel with holes in the bottom for the LEDs. Painted, galvanized sheet metal. Uh, should be pretty easy to install. I'm going to say we're going to do the whole house in two hours. Maybe. Okay, here we go. So here's the master plan. We're going to start in this corner. And we're going to run track all the way down over that bump, E, whatever you want to call it. And then uh, finish that off. At that far end, can you even see where I'm pointing? Yeah. At that far end is where the controller is going to be. So it's a, it's a Dig Uno running WLED. We're going to put it that far end. So that the data signal will actually travel this way. And when we get here, we're going to jump a gap with a wire from here up to there. And then we'll do the top. That way the, the lights will all be able to flow from one to the other. Or in X lights or with segments, he can do two of them and run them that way. Power supply is going to be inside the garage. We'll poke through over here somewhere. So there we go. We got some corners to mess with. We got some of these funny things we got to try and get around. So here we go. Oh, hi. hi. How's it going? Great. Thanks for letting us use your house. Yeah, you bet. Volunteering me to be the monkey on the roof. Yeah, he was pretty quick to do that. He was pretty quick to say, hey, I know my father in law. He'll get up on the roof. I said, really? Is he like uh, Spider Man? And he said, no, he just doesn't care if he falls. I said, oh, it's a good day to fall off the roof. <laughs> Pixels. Pixel pusher. <laughs> These have a, an arrow, and I trust that arrow. I think that arrow is right. So the arrow points this way, which would also line up with the DN on that side. So I think we're safe. That since this is going to be the far end, we put these in here. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I just no, whack you? Good. No, you're good. Pop those in there. Bunch of them like that. This is going to be Zach's job. Yeah. And you get the pixel pusher. This will save your fingers. You just grab these, stick them in. Pretty easy, right? With lights on the side, they're going to uh, not even see them. Okay. Numero uno. I did this on my house like three years ago with all the wrong stuff. I went through the process of trying to do it right for a few years. And this stuff is some of the result of that. Just got the shipment like Tuesday. And this is the first time we're installing this stuff for real. That's it. Okay. Just, uh, 21 more times. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some loaded. And then... Good luck. So it should go like this? That end should go here. That end. Yeah. Oh, when it goes, it's beautiful. It's like butter. It's butter. It's like butter. Oh, ho, ho, ho. beauty. Oh, 
more this is beautiful. That. Golly. Who came up with this? It's a dang <laughs> genius. It's awesome. <laughs> Looks good. Look at that. Okay. Looks Here, good. It's good. Yep. Hot dog. Holy freaking world, it's blazing up here. Oh no, where'd my pen go? <laughs> it's burning me. <laughs> you don't have to get the first time. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're not trying to be silly. <laughs> like, you look so... You enjoying yourself? I am. <gasps> let, me, let me hold that. Just wait. Uh, oh yeah, see, there's my pen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm holding quite a bit. Um, hold on. Let me, there you go. Now you got all my weight. <laughs> Man, the roof got real hot, real fast. Like in the last 30 minutes, the roof just got boiling hot. Channel? Channel. Channel boy. Yes. That's you. Ah. Oh boy. Thank you, sir. Okay, so white neutral, black, it's hot, or line, and then they give you a ground. Okay, there's that. Now, there are, and this says common, but those are gonna be the ground, and then the voltage over here. So this is 12 volts and ground. And you get three different connections. We're probably gonna use two of them, just so we split the current between the two lines, so you don't have, all the amps on two lines. We're using this same three cable wire, or three wire cable. We just don't need this data anymore. Ground right here, hot right here. I'll just get okay, that's that. Now we're gonna cut a length of this off and pass it through the wall. Are these gonna work? These are just like general screws. Yeah, I'm sure they are. I'm not even looking at them and they're going to be fine. So, Jaren's going to continue this on. For now, for, to turn it on, I just connected the positive here and the negative here. And then the data is going to continue through up here. And he's going to bring another positive and negative here to run. Uh, that way... It's got, it's on the same power supply, it'll have the same ground, so it'll work fine. Uh, but that way we split the current. So the, the, these two wires will have the current from these LEDs we've got on the front. And the other two wires that he brings through here will carry the current that'll come from the rest of the lights that go up on top of the house. That's basically also power injecting because we're putting power in the middle. It doesn't care which way it goes. So we connect it in the middle and we don't need power injection before we get to that far end on this side. And we won't need power injection before we get to the far end on the other side because we connected power in the middle. Brilliant. So now we just got to connect the Digi Uno with the WLED controller and we can turn these things on. It's going to be awesome. So now we're going to put the ground in the ground here. It's positive, okay. And then the data. All right, we can put that piece up now. Sheldon, we're, we're done. By done, I mean not done. You know, exactly. There's a big difference between I'm done and hey, we're finished. <laughs> 
He's popping the lights in. Blop, 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 blop. We're going to go to configuration and we're going to change a few things so that it's right. LED preferences. Ooh, did we count how many LEDs you have out there? Across the bottom? I don't remember how many you had, so why don't you just say, just say 300. Uh, so this will limit the brightness, automatically enables a brightness limiter. So you set this to some current amount and it will dim the LEDs so it doesn't go over that current amount. It's a really nice safety feature. You have a 20 amp power supply. I would set this at something, for just based on your wire size, set it at something like, I don't know, 6,000. You know, it would be oh. 6 amps. And, oh, and you have 12 volt lights, so that makes that even better. There you go. Now here, your GRB, because yours showed up green, hit that and scroll down until you find RGB. There's, there's always a color order, or there's often a color order mix-up. Um, whether you have WS2811s or 12s, and sometimes it's even different with different manufacturers. But if you turn on the lights and they're green, then you need to change that. If they're yellow, then it was already set right for whatever lights you're using. The timer, so there's a timer, a little, a little moon. You click that and it will slowly dim over the next 60 minutes and turn off. You can change that to any time you want. And you can change whether or not it fades down or whether it just shuts off. So right now it's set to fade down over 60 minutes. You can change that if you want. All right, so now you can save that. Those are all the changes we're going to make there. Time and macros, yeah, you can do some of this if you want. You can set it to the right time zone if you care. And then down here, this is some pretty neat stuff. Scroll up a little bit. I did a video about it. That's probably the better way to tell you. There's a video about it from like November. But basically, you put some simple code in here. It's not really code. It's like and symbol m equals 2 comma and symbol r1 something something, right? And, and what, you, what you're doing is you're, you're setting an effect and uh, like a preset. And then you can, once you've defined these macros or however many of them you want, then you can set them to come on at a certain time of day, certain days of the week. You can do all that in Home Assistant too. But if you weren't using Home Assistant, this has everything you need to have it all so that it doesn't have dates. I wish it would have dates. Maybe yeah, someday it will say, have a date. Yeah, for like July 4th. It's just, yes. It just, it just does it, right? Oh, I'll tell you about the preset. So imagine you find a, one you like. So I really like Color Winkles. So hit Color Winkles. Oh, and then hit uh, preview, and this will show you oh. what is happening on the lights outside. So you can see what they're doing. Is it doing it now? It is doing it now. You can okay. hit power and turn them off. When you have an effect selected here, then you can change the uh, intensity, which is really a kind of a generic variable. Well, it, intensity does different things to different effects. And say you really like that one, then you can come over here and you turn on saving mode, and then you click a save slot and then you turn off saving mode. Now if you select a different effect, okay, yes. that's fine, it's a different effect. I want my preset, there it goes, it calls that preset. Segments, you can do segments, but you can only save them with number 16. You can say, all right, well, we want the first 100 LEDs, yeah, uh, so you know, to do this. Okay, great. And now we want the second 100 LEDs that's so cool. to do something else. Okay, yeah. so now, see, it even shows you up here. So oh, now with well. this unchecked, now I'm affecting this half of the LEDs. So now we're going to just do something like random chase. And that's based off of the digit. Oh, no. So this is from Yes, that number edge. one is over there. And if you wanted, you can go back, you can go in and change that. When you go into config and LED preferences, there's a reverse LED order. What? So if you really want your effects to start at that corner, even though your controller is at this corner, you just change the reverse order and there you go. So you got the uppers doing one thing and the others. You, so if you're going to program these segments, you gotta do when you're 16. done, you got to save and do 16. Okay. 16 is the only one that will save segments. And when you restart this, if you know if 16 is not selected, your segments won't show up. You'll be like, what happened? I spent an hour putting my segments perfectly. You got to save them in number 16, and then if you're not, if 16 is not active, you're not going to see them here. So let's go look. Let's go look outside. Let's do it. Now we can get your wife to look at the lights. Yeah!
That was so cool. We did it! Hotter than blazes. Don't Woo! do it in July. Do not do this in July. We're going to do special sales in July for anybody crazy enough to come out here and put Seriously. them up in July. I still can't hardly talk. I got need some saliva. I got nothing. I know. Same here. I got nothing. All right, man. Dude, hey. This is so cool. We did it. We learned some lessons, but I'm not going to go through what lessons we learned right now because it's too dang hot. <laughs> I'm going to go home. Take a cold bath and then talk about what we learned. It looks pretty good. It looks amazing. It looks pretty good. You'll get us some uh, drone footage tonight. Yeah. Okay. And so is that just dangling on the end over here? Oh, yeah, that's true. It is just dangling. Three wires. Like you can splice three wires and put that thing anywhere you want. You know, if you wanted to, if you wanted to pop it through the house and put it inside, if you wanted to pop it up through and put it underneath your, um, you can decide where you yeah. want it. It doesn't have to stay right there. Yeah. So. He's smarter than me. If you need help or want to chat with me or others who also enjoy projects like this, you can find us on Facebook and Discord. If you like what I'm doing and you want to support me, you can use my special product links in the video description or head over to Patreon or just like and share my videos. That's easy. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, this box will take you to a playlist of some of my favorites. In addition to videos like this, I also do live streams every Sunday. This box will take you to a recording of the latest live stream. That's all for now. Adios.